Hey guys, it's Kevin. Today I'm going to show you how to unclog the HP 910 printhead. Sorry about the noise. We work from the warehouse, so you'll either hear a forklift or truck or airplane or maybe a SpaceX going to fly by. I probably unclogged a couple hundred of uh, those printers so far. So this video is based on the experience I have from those printers. Those printers are usually really dry. Uh, they don't have a cartridge for months. So if I can unclog this, you will unclog yours in no, no problem. OK, I just grabbed this random one. And it doesn't have cartridge on it for a long, long, long time. The black isn't that bad, but all the colors, they're like a dried solid. Uh, I just put a new cartridge on it and do a test. HP has a different level of cleaning, so the first time you run the cleaning, it doesn't do much. At the end of the cleaning, it's going to speed out that piece of paper and uh, show you the result. As you can see, and uh, the black is not that bad, but uh, it's still clogged. And uh, there's no color. All the colors, they are dry and clogged. OK, back home, you should do more head cleanings before you buy anything. But uh, because we know the history of this printer has been the dumpster, has been under the sun for like a long while. So we know uh, uh, the, the building cleaning is not going to solve the problem. So uh, we go to bchtechnologies.com and uh, go to accessories, an anti-clogging agent. Uh, we need a definitely need uh, this two to uh, the flash two and uh, however um, it's cheaper for us to go to the second page it has the flash two with uh, the red cleaning solution there are three levels of cleaning solution the uh, uh, there are green one and uh, there's a red one the red one has the maximum strength and uh, 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 back home if you want to use green one that's fine but uh, because again, this printer is heavily, heavily clogged. So today we're going to use the combination of the right cleaning solution plus the uh, the cleaning the cleaning tool. We're going to get a little container and uh, add some uh, cleaning solutions to it. Then we suck some solution into the syringe. For the bigger one, you only need to fill one third or a quarter of the syringe. Now we're going to take out all the cartridges. OK, let's make a diaper for the printer. So get a paper towel, fold it in half, then fold it in one third. And then now just uh, tuck it underneath the uh, print head. Oh yeah, uh, cut the power off before you do this. Your left hand should push down the tip evenly, have a even pressure. If you don't have a even pressure, you're going to see the juice come out all around it. This piece of uh, black washer is a sandwich between your tip and uh, the base. So not only you need to stop the leaking from the top, from the top, you also need to stop the leaking from the bottom. So to do this, you have you need to have an uh, even pressure. Now I'm going to switch to the smaller tip and do the rest of the colors. Uh, remember, your goal is put some. Uh, those red clean solutions inside the print head and leave it there. And your goal is not to totally flush everything out of the system. Now the print head is filled with cleaning solutions. And we just put the cartridge back, close the cover, and then just leave it overnight or for 12 hours. 12 hours later, don't forget to take the diaper out before you plug in the power. <laughs> So now the printhead is filled with cleaning solutions, but uh, the cartridge filled with ink. We just use a printer's building function to do a cleaning that will suck out the cleaning solutions. OK, you can see the colors back. And that's not bad, but uh, the magenta have a white strip in the middle. So we'll go to the second level of cleaning. Just click uh, Clean again. OK, here's our first cleaning. Um, the next two ways is our second cleaning, or we call it the first cleaning after the flush, flushing. So we can see the 
black is uh, is unclogged. It's a little bit fuzzy because uh, you are changing the ink types and the uh, color spec. But I have a white strip, and this is the third one. And uh, the third one, compared to the second one, you can see that white strap is gone. But the magenta, uh, where it didn't have a uh, strap before, now has strap. That's because you run out of magenta ink. And this is the quickest way to add the ink to your cartridge. Uh, now you can see the magenta is solid, but I have a little bit of stripes. And uh, at this stage, do not uh, clean anymore. Do not clean the next level. Just leave it like that and uh, leave it for a couple hours and come back and it's going to be perfect. Uh, if you still have pro problems, probably want to just do it, repeat the whole thing one more time and then before you throw the printer in your garbage. Oh, by the way, the black look a little bit fuzzy because uh, uh, I, I'm not using the real ink. I'm using uh, ink uh, combined with a wetter solution. So after I unclog it, I can sell it. So that's why the black look like a bit fuzzy. Oh, by the way, I'm going to put a link to the unclogged print head because I'm selling those print heads. I'm going to put it on the uh, description section. But if the link is gone, that means everything is sold. I hope you enjoyed this video. Visit us at www.bchtechnology.com or locally, Greensboro, North Carolina. Cheers.